Hi guys, welcome back to my channel and if you're new, welcome to my channel. In today's video, I thought I'd do something a little bit different because I have seen this foundation ranted and raved about by so many people. I have seen Taddy review it and I just remember whenever I was growing up, everyone went on about this foundation and I finally got my hands on like a sample of it. Not the full size bottle, but I mean, it does the same thing, it's the same product. So I thought that I would test it out today, see how it wears, if it's worth the hype or not. I did wear it in a recent video, if you want to check that out, I will link it in the description box but I didn't actually give a full review of the product I just said how it applied in that one instance and if I liked it then like I didn't um, review it for like an entire day so today I'm just gonna try and like check in at certain times throughout the day and let you know if I enjoy it okay hello so I just finished my fries if you want to see how I did those there is another video on my channel you can go watch that I will put the link in the description so to start off by priming I just used a bit of flawless hydro fix primer water by Barry M I'm just gonna apply this foundation like I apply any other foundation that I own just to see if it holds up so here is a little sample it is literally tiny but I wanted to test the foundation out before I paid what I think it's going for £33.50 now on the Debenhams website. So I thought I would just test it out first. I'm just going to use my Zoeva Rose Golden Bluffer brush. Um, I can never talk about brushes right without messing up. And I'm just going to like dab this on my hand. I don't really know how much I need of this. So we'll see. It's definitely a bit too dark for me. Like that is a really obvious colour difference. Oh my gosh. I'm just going to take that on my brush and work that up into my face. Okay. That's actually, it does have really good coverage. I mean, I understand why people like this because the coverage is amazing. I've not used any color corrector, which I normally would use for my other foundations, but I wanted to test the coverage of this foundation to see, because if you don't need a color corrector, then why would you use one? It's just a waste of money. Okay, so that wee bit on my hand didn't really go far. I feel like I didn't get much on my forehead or anything. So I'm just gonna take a little bit more. Ah, I took too much, oh my God, okay. I wonder if I can lighten this up with like a powder or something. And some highlight. I do really like the finish of this foundation. Um, it's got quite like a glowy finish. I feel like it kind of brightens your face up a bit more. I don't know, but I do like the finish and I do like the coverage as well. The coverage is amazing. You do kind of feel like you're wearing foundation. Like, I, I mean, it is lightweight, but it does feel a wee bit cakey just to look at, but like it's kind of sitting on top of my skin. Like it's not blending into my skin. And also I did mention this in another video whenever I wore this, but I don't shave my upper lip because I find that my hair there is just a bit light so there's not really a need to but this foundation brings that out oh my god like it's just I'll see if I can do a zoom in once I get the powder on but it just completely I don't know if you can see that but it just completely accentuates the fact that I have hair on my upper lip I don't know it just kind of clings to it like glue which is another thing that I heard about this foundation is that apparently it's really hard to clean off your brushes so I'm just gonna finish up like my base with my concealer because as I said I am just going to use this like any other foundation and I want to see how this mixes with the Urban Decay Naked concealer because I mean, if you're able to buy this, you probably will have fancy concealers as well. Okay, the concealer is definitely helping to brighten this up. Although, I feel like the concealer is not like blending in with it. It's kind of like sitting on top, if that makes sense. So I, just, I look even more cakey than what I did. This is quite a cakey looking foundation. Like it really, it kind of blurs your pores, but also really accentuates them as well. Oh my gosh, I've got spinach in my teeth. Why did no one tell me? I've had spinach in my teeth the entire time that I filmed this video and I didn't even realize, I'm sorry. Okay, and so I'm gonna go in with my powder. I'm going to use the Form Hydrate Recover Powder from Primark. It's meant to be sweat resistant and I do use this quite a lot recently just because a lot of my foundations are a lot more tan than what I currently am at the minute. So I find this kind of helps to neutralize that a wee bit. So hopefully this will help this foundation match my skin. Uh, I don't think it does. <laughs> I think it's still a bit too dark for me. Yeah, like, oh, I don't think I like this foundation at all. It's like, it's a bit patchy here and it just kind of sits on your skin. Like it doesn't, it clings to everything. So like all my dry patches, it is clung to my upper lip it is clung to so like if you want to avoid the upper lip obviously just remove the hair there but like my pores and my dry bits it is just completely clung like, even just around here it is clung around this part here it's clung it's just I don't like how it makes my face look close up I mean obviously no one's going to notice that unless they're like really close to me and even just trying to blend that bit out has not worked so I'll just I'll do a bit of a close up and let you see how this looks I just I'm not loving it although it does look nice in the camera I must say it looks good in camera, but it doesn't really look good in life. Um, so 
I will try and get closer. Oh my gosh, this is so hard. I don't know if you can see, but it's basically like just clung all around here and all around here. And I'm already showing you like my top lip, as you can see, like it's just, I do have dry bits like around here and stuff too, which is just completely, they're just completely clung to, like, I don't know, I mean it does look good on camera, I just, I don't think this suits my skin if I'm honest. So I'm just going to finish up my base and everything and I will check in in about, in about five hours to see how it goes. I'm not really hopeful at this point, I don't know, I feel like right now on first application this foundation is overhyped, like it's not worth the hype, it is not worth £33.50, unless like you're just using it for photos then okay yeah it will provide you with a really flawless base for videos and photos but I mean anything close up or in high definition it will just not do you any favors at all in my opinion it's not doing me any favors okay so i have just finished filming a video um on this eye look it should be up so make sure you watch that but i think that the foundation has definitely settled into my skin a bit better i mean it is still kind of clumpy around here and it's still kind of accentuating my top lip but around here where it was kind of pumping to the dry bit it isn't really anymore it's definitely settled into my pores a bit better so my skin looks a little bit more flawless around there so right now the foundation is definitely growing on me it feels quite light and it's not sticky at all or anything i think that could be because of the powder but i am really really enjoying it and um i don't really know what else to say so i'll check in after class and stuff and see what happens okay so i can't find good lighting in my room right now and i don't want to turn on my ring light because I'm just home and I'm a bit out of breath, so excuse me. There's a lot of hills where I live. Um, so I thought I'd do a quick update on the foundation. I basically went to a lecture and then spent the majority of my day in the library and had like get books and everything and do some coursework and stuff. So um, I don't know if you can see very well. I'm gonna try and zoom in. Okay, so as you can see, it's really accentuating my pores around here. This is what I was trying to say about the dryness earlier on, um, especially around here. It started to separate slightly on my nose. I don't have oily skin. So that's a bit of a worrying sign, but you can also kind of see the bumps that I spoke about in my last video. And then it has come off on my chin, but that is just because I was probably leaning on it and stuff in the library because that's what I do when I'm in the library. But also on my chin, you can see the dry patches that is accentuated like around there. And then also if I go up onto my forehead, you can see the dry patches around here and where it was gathering around there. It doesn't seem to be gathering too much around my top lip anymore. Maybe I rubbed it off. I don't really know. Yeah, I don't know if I would recommend this as an everyday foundation. I mean, maybe it was the way I applied it. I don't know, but I have seen a few people apply it the exact same way that I did and it lasted longer on them, apparently. I don't know. It's just not really my thing. By the way, that isn't a spot that's a beauty mark, but when I was younger, I picked it just in case anyone was ever wondering. But yeah, so far, not really liking this foundation. I mean, it's nice for photos and stuff, but right now, the way my skin is looking like just look at how much it's accentuating my pores there like it's just a no-go and it's just it's so shiny as well and I'm not someone with oily skin like that's why I'm so annoyed at this like I don't like I don't have oily skin I've never had oily skin I I don't know what's going on